Hey everyone, what's going on? Sean over here at Modern Lending coming at you again with another Mortgage Tip Tuesday. And today what I wanna talk about with you guys are student loans and how those student loans that you have on your credit report may affect your purchasing power. Depending on the type of loan that you are applying for will dictate how we treat those student loans toward your debt to income ratio. For conventional loans, if you have a student loan that is on your credit and that student loan is deferred, we take that deferred balance and multiply it by either 1% or a half a percent to use as a monthly payment to be counted toward your debt to income ratio. If that student loan is reporting a payment on credit, we use that payment called day. For our FHA clients, if you have a student loan that is in deferment reporting on credit, we use that balance, multiply the balance by 1% and use that as a monthly payment towards your debt to income ratio. If your student loans are not in deferred deferment and they have a payment that is reporting on credit, and that payment is less than 1% of the balance, we are required to use 1% of the balance as a monthly payment. If the payment that's reporting on your credit report is higher than 1% of the balance, we use that payment. So we use the higher of the two. And last but certainly not least for our VA clients, if you have student loans that are reporting on credit and it is deferment, in deferment, we are required to look at that date when the deferment is going to end. If that date is 12 months or out from when we're going to close, then no monthly payment is required to be added to your application. If that deferment date is scheduled to end within 12 months of closing, we take your balance, multiply it by 5%, and then divide that number by 12, and that is the number we use as a monthly payment to be counted towards your ratios. And that's another Mortgage Ship Tuesday for you, going over student loans and how they impact purchasing power when qualifying for a mortgage. Contact your loan officer if you have any other questions.